in this video lecture i will explain you complete details about the uh, types of water tanks and specifications of water tank according to the indian standard system so before watching this video please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates and civil engineering concepts okay let's go to the lecture so water tanks are basically used to store the water above or below the ground so basically these are this is a basic definition regarding the water tank so classification of the water tanks so as per the major classification water tanks are classified into two types one is related to the based on the shape and second one is related to the based on the position okay so these are the two types of the water tanks so it will be consisting of rectangular water tank and the second one is circular water tank some of the other shapes are also available depends upon the consideration so for simple understanding just i was showing the two types of the examples here okay so here first one is rectangular water tank and second one is circular water tank so the rectangular water tank uh, the dimensions will be calculated according to the capacity of the water tank so from the capacity we need to extract the volume of the water tank and from the volume itself we need to take the uh, constant height of the water tank from the constant height we can easily calculate the area of the water tank in the same process we can calculate the dimensions of the circular water tank depends upon the specifications like uh, volume of the water tank requirement of the water uh, for a particular city or for particular uh, locality or particular uh, street etc okay so these are all the factors we need to consider before uh, going to the uh, designing the water tank so this is the first one classification based on the shape it will be consisting of rectangular water tank and circular water tank and trapezoidal also we need to consider but in the trapezoidal section nowadays most of the people are not using so that's why i was taken only the two cases like rectangular water tank as well as the circular water tank here okay so next one is based on the position so based on the position water tank are classified into three categories one is related to the tanks resisting on the ground and second one is related to the tank resisting below the ground and third one is related to the tank resisting on the ground so the tank resisting on the ground or tank resisting above the ground and tank resisting below the ground the shapes are different like rectangular water tank or uh, what we call circular water tank let us consider this is the uh, circular water tank which is resisting above the ground let us consider this is the rectangular water tank which is resisting above the ground okay this is the above the ground on the ground this is okay like that we have to consider so these are the some three types of the uh, tanks which is based on the position okay position of the tank and the next one is uh, this is the overhead water tank and the next one is this is the underground water tank examples some pictures related to this uh, water tanks okay so this is a circular one and as well as this is a rectangular one water tank for the consideration now i will explain you the specifications uh, different types of the specifications we need to consider according to the codal provision standard system okay so first one is uh, the specifications are classified into according to the is 3370 code standard system okay so this is a standard code we need to consider okay according to the uh, specifications of water tank so the water tanks are basically designed based on the working stress method okay so this is the major important point we need to consider working stress method okay so not limit state method we need to consider the water tank specifications according to the working stress method okay next one is grade of the concrete the minimum actual grade of the concrete we need to consider for the water tank is m30 grade concrete provisions okay so this is the minimum grade but for the small water tank which is having the capacity around uh, 2 lakh 2 kilo lakh capacity or 3 kilo lakh capacity or less than 5 kilo lakh capacity in non coastal area the minimum grade of the concrete we need to consider it as m30 m25 grade concrete okay this is the next point we need to consider the grade of the concrete so if you are constructing the water tank in non coastal area we need to consider m25 grade if you are going to construct the water tank in coastal area okay we need to consider the m30 grade why because in coastal area the strength of the soil will be less in order to get that particular value of strength we need to consider the more strength for the uh, structure of water tank so that is the major region in coastal area okay the minimum cover so the minimum cover for the water tank we will basically use as 45 mm cover okay so the 45 mm cover will be provided in between the reinforcement as well as the edge of the water tank so this is the minimum value for the consideration and the next one is curing period so basically after the construction process we need to cure the water tank so the minimum of 14 days is sufficient for curing the water tank some people will say 21 days and 28 days but 21 days 28 days is the maximum value of the curing period 
but the minimum value at least we need to cure the water tank for 14 days 14 days uh, is the minimum curing period okay if you are available with 21 days and 28 days then you can go with 21 days and 28 days also depends upon your uh, time requirement but in some cases the uh, the water tanks need to construct uh, within the less amount of the time period in that case we need to take at least 14 days for the curing period this is the next point we need to consider okay the minimum of 14 days curing is done for the water tanks as per the standards this is the next point and the next one is related to the minimum reinforcement value so after designing the uh, reinforcement value we need to check whether the calculator reinforcement value within the permissible limits or not okay so the permissible value of the uh, minimum reinforcement value in mild steel section we need to consider as 0 0.35 percentage of surface zone surface zone is nothing but all the cross-sectional area of particular water tank okay and again if you are taking the hysd bars we need to take the minimum reinforcement value is 0 0.24 percentage for the surface zone okay of the surface zone so if you consider it with, uh, with uh, a surface zone if your surface zone is 1 meter square then we need to consider 0 0.24 meter square for the reinforcement itself approximately we need to consider as 1 by fourth value and for the mild steel we need to consider it as 1 by third value this is the fifth specification we need to consider and the next one is related to the permissible stress in concrete so basically the permissible stress in concrete will be consisting of two types here one is related to the direct tensile tension as well as the bending tension for m25 grade concrete we need to consider the direct tension value is 1.3 for uh, m30 grade concrete we need to consider the direct tension value is 1.5 okay and bending tension value for m35 grade concrete we need to consider it as 1.8 value and for the m30 grade concrete we need to consider it as two value so this is the permissible stress in concrete for the both direct tension as well as the bending tension value according to your minimum uh, m20 grade concrete and um, minimum m30 grade concrete for the water tanks okay so this is the basic explanation regarding the water tank related to the classification of the water tank according to the uh, shape of the water tank like rectangular class circular and based on the position of the water tank like uh, the tank resisting on the ground tank resisting above the ground tank resisting below the ground and uh, coder specifications like code and grade of the concrete minimum concrete and curing period minimum reinforcement required and permissible stress in concrete for the direct tension as well as the bending tension so this is a small uh, concept related to the water tank we need to consider so if you have any queries about this uh, video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that questions in my free time please subscribe to my channel for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics thank you